Our exclusive interview with number 24, Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, calling it quits at the end of the season, ending an incredible 20-year career with the L.A. Lakers. I went one-on-one -on -one with Kobe about his big decision. Kobe Bryant! It is the end of an era. Records shattered, respect earned. And now, after 20 years and five NBA championships, Kobe Bryant will say goodbye to his first love, basketball. Everybody wants to know, why now? It's the right time. There's no point in really belaboring it or dragging it out or saying, well, leave the door open in case, uh, I don't know, something may change. I don't think this is something, this is a decision that you can allow to, to have outside influence to dictate whether or not you continue to play. It must be a decision that comes from the front. So once I knew this was it, might as well say it. So how did you know this was it? I try to have at least 15 minutes of still time and just kind of sit in my thoughts in the morning and just kind of meditate. Normally what happens with me is my mind would always drift to the game always. And then I found myself sitting there, my mind wouldn't drift towards the game all the time anymore. And that's when I started realizing, you know what? It's getting close. It's getting close. Not just 20 years, but 20 years with the same team, the LA Lakers. How important is that to you? Uh, extremely. It means everything to me. I was such a huge Laker fan growing up. I mean, like a diehard Laker fan. I had magic posters, you know, magic t-shirts. It was my dream to be a Los Angeles Laker. And so, you know, to be here for 20 years and to get to know some of my mentors, uh, it's been a dream come true. And the fans, the, the letter that you wrote, you wanted to speak to your fans first. Why? Well, because I think it was important for them to know how much they've meant to me. The letter itself still doesn't do it justice and how important they've been. Uh, how vital they've been in my career and uh, I mean we we grew up together and uh, that's such a beautiful thing. Was it a slow process to get here or was it just one of those light switch went off and you said now? No, it was a slow process yeah. and, and it was something that kind of evolved over the last three years you know with the, the Achilles injury that really frightened me because you know it was like you know, my career could be over now. It scared me. I said, what am I going to do next? And then I trained hard, came back the next season, fractured my knee. I trained even harder, came back again, tore my shoulder. <laughs> and it was just like, oh my, this is one thing after the next. And so it was kind of a, a slow three-year process of kind of evolving to get to where I am. The 17-time All-Star calls himself his biggest critic, and he admits this season is far from his best. Do you feel that you're being treated fairly this season being your last and all that you have done for the sport? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. You can't just sit around expecting everybody just to give praise all the time. You got to be able to take the good with the bad. One of the most important things that I could share with uh, the younger generation is to accept it all. Don't have any expectations or lean on or rely on positive reporting on your career or negative. Have you accomplished everything that you've wanted to on the court? No. No. I, I wanted eight championships. As a dreamy kid growing up in Italy, I wanted eight. Why eight? Because Magic had five and then uh, Michael had six and I said, okay, I'm going to win eight and had the opportunity to have seven and didn't work out. You have talked about wanting to have your place in the history of this game. Top five players of all time. Who would those five players be and would you crack the starting five? No, I would never put myself in the starting five ever. I'll put the people that I've actually learned the most from, being Jordan, Magic, Bird, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Jerry West. But when you see that hashtag GOAT by your name. I think it's fantastic. You know, I think it's great to be mentioned in the same breath as those players, honestly, to me, that's everything. But I mean, we'll sit and debate endlessly who would win in a one-on-one -on -one matchup between myself and MJ. And we can debate that until the cows come home. So who would win? Uh, he would win some, I would win some. But those are debates that'll go on forever. Although he said his goodbyes, <laughs> I had to ask. Are you really ready to let her go? I am, I am, I am. But the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm carrying this with me, no matter what, you know what I mean? But. Internally, my love, my passion, everything that I've learned from it is always going to be with me. I'm telling you, he's at peace. He he's does. at peace. Yes. His thinking is so clear on mm -hmm. all these issues. Yeah. And, you know, he talks about the fact that he grew up for a time in Italy. His dad played pro ball. Uh, he speaks fluent Italian. Um, he has other interests, and tomorrow we'll get into what is his next, what he's going to do next. But it's hard. Can you imagine if you're told something that you love, that you've thought about since you were yay high, until you, can, you can't do that anymore?
if we were told that we can't do what no. we love he anymore, but that's what athletes do. He excited about what's ahead. He is excited yes. about what's ahead, and we will discuss that. And, of course, I had to ask him, Michael Jordan or... Yeah. <laughs> well, he, could, I, he could be a politician I, I, with no, that. No, no, correct I, answer, yeah. I, but, but he really appreciates because he's getting dumped on a lot by, yeah. by the press. He's having a, a horrible season. The word that he used, crap, that's how he, he <laughs> how he describes how he's playing right now. They played in Philadelphia's hometown. Uh, the yeah, Sixers won their... Yeah, night. they won... The Sixers won their first game of the season. Kobe had 20. Um, but you could just tell that he's ready to, to move on. Yep. At peace is the, the perfect yes. way to say it. And, and you, you're going to see what happens when we played a little word association game with Kobe Bryant. Go to, America, uh, go to goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo and you can see that. But again, part two tomorrow. Coming up, the new...